Good day everyone. I welcome you all to another edition of our Elite Fire Suppression or Firefighting Software Tutorial Series. Having discussed about the Elite Fire Software Project Data, likewise the interface, in today's video, I will be exploring the Elite Additional Software Tools. Ordinarily, most of the Elite Software Tools are located at the Project Toolbar. Likewise, the Project Menu. So let's open our sample project here. Tutorial project, right? Yeah. So most of the software tools are located here at the project interface. For instance, we have our branch line K factor calculator here. It's one of the additional tools Elite has. So you can still find most of these tools here at the menu. So for branch line tools is here. Sorry. Tools. Okay. Sprinkler K factor branch line k factor calculator so for this one too we have it here ks and virtually all the tools located here you can still find them here at the project menu starting from the right hand side we have our branch line k factor calculator and is actually a normal calculator to determine our k factor along a sprinkler pipe for instance let's open this autocad project so in case you might be required to determine the k factor along this pipe for instance or any of the pipes so for the less professionals, K factor is the discharge rate, or you call it the discharge coefficient. And it simply means the amount of water that is permitted to pass through a branch line. So in case you are required to determine this amount of water that will pass through this pipe. So we do use the branch line K factor calculator. Is actually a factor of the sprinkler material, likewise the diameter and the length of the pipe and the type of fitting. So let's take this as a case study now. The material, clicking on the drop down arrow here, so you select the material. If you are using schedule 40 wet steel, so we are using CPVC, light hazard project. So likewise the diameter of the pipe, let's assume the diameter of this our pipe is 1 inch. So one inch. So and for the length, you calculate the length from this end to the other terminal or node you are using. So let's assume this is our node one F8. So this is our node two. So we have 3.5 meter. So you insert 3.5 meter. 3.5 meter in feet is like 11.5 feet. So 11.5. So you specify in the type of fittings you are using. For this project now we have a T here. Let's assume our node here is node Y, Y here is node 2. So we are measuring from this place to this place. So we add this distance to it too. 6.2. Let's just make it 12 feet. So and we are having a T here. So we have 12 here. Standard fitting T. So T or cross, you just press T. Okay. I do not come up T. Okay. So after the non standard fittings, which is not that over, so you leave it at zero. The sprinkler K factor. So you click which kind of sprinkler we have in here. So we are having our standard sprinkler. So you select it. default 5.8 so 
So we're having 5.55 here. So this is our branch line K factor. Uh, ordinarily for professionals, it's, it's based on the relation of the Q equals to K root P. So this is how we do determine our branch line K factor. And for the sprinkler K factor, it's almost the same principle too. So in case we are to determine either the flow rate or the residual pressure or probably the K factor too. But as a professional, we are always required to determine the system flow rate just to ascertain if the design falls within the specified NFP range. For instance, now if I'm to maintain the minimum NFP GPM of 22.5 for light hazard design, right? So we are to insert the K factor of the sprinkler which implies I'll be having 15.05 as my minimum PSI for the design. So if I'm to maintain 22.5, so I can, I must still have to maintain 15.05 PSI at our sprinkler edge level. The way I do work my way through the design process is just to specify my required pressure when I did this, I will specify my required pressure 15 point. If I need 16 psi, sorry, so in 10 psi for instance, so I will just like 22.5 here as my minimum pressure. That implies I will have to find a sprinkler of 5.3 k factor. We also have other two sets here. We have the project explorer which is here likewise we have the unit so for instance the format time when i was using my edge to convert so you can either select the si unit or the us imperial unit so another thing to note is the option here so we have different options starting from the right hand you can change your project background which are based on personal preference so i've changed it to it Wow, danger. So changing the restoring it back. That is the restore button. Okay, default. So okay. So we still have the colors there in case you intend to change any of the color, likewise the general box. So to close that. So after then another basic thing you need to be mindful of is the pump database here. So sprinkler has already specified a database for you. For instance, now it give an assumption of the taco super pumper. In case you are designing and you are to supply your own pump, so you can specify the pump characteristics here. So you just create another pump here. So let's just proceed. I'm having for this pump now. You specify the 120 GPM of 43 psi. 240 so in case you are fabricating your own so you just said so you just come over here and create a new pump sorry add new pump so you create your own pump and after then you follow with the other details so the same thing applies to this one too the pipe data in case you are fabricating a pipe for your project so you just come over here and enter its properties particularly its length and diameter as while encountering different materials. So in case you are creating a new pipe too, you repeat the same process. Or probably you are copying from this. You are just trying to redact a G2 thing. 